Drivers then out on track for the Manufacturer Series for round one of race one of the World Series showdown. Then here's Callum Jones in the Dodge. You can see how he's going to get on. Dodge a new manufacturer here for this weekend. And uh, let's see what they're going to be able to do behind the wheel of that Viper. Yeah, behind the circuit is Iwata in the Peugeot. Peugeot have been represented before in the Manufacturer Series in the Gran Turismo online competitions but we haven't seen much of them so good to see him out here on circuit very curious to see how the team would do amongst strong competitors adam to the hungarian driver behind the wheel of the jaguar for the manufacturer series this house village circuit as you can see is uh, going to be very very interesting for these drivers to be uh, competing around and uh, let's see how to is going to get on behind the wheel of that front engined rear wheel drive f-type speaking of front engine rear wheel drive mara strecker is in the nissan of course my boy is nissan gtr the car's a little bit long in the tooth at the moment but still uh, very quick and uh, very well used online as well so Looking forward to seeing how this old car will do in new hands. Reigning Manufacturer Series champions Subaru have got Pedro Vigario behind the wheel of the WRX here for this weekend. He is going to be setting the qualifying times ahead of this first race. And they are going to, I'm sure, be a very, very strong force to be competing here at this circuit because the big Achilles heel for Subaru in 2020 and 2021 has been the straight line speed. And there's not many straight lines here at Alsace. And uh, last out on circuit, but certainly not least, Aston Martin driven by Ayumu Takeda. Uh, always great to see uh, the British mark represented here, of course. Again, another old car, the V12 Vantage. It's been around for quite a long time, that thing. Still sounds amazing, and I think every time it comes up, I always mention it's a V12 and how nice it sounds. So I'll do it again. It's a V12 and sounds very nice, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> Single laps for our drivers here. They're split up into two groups, 12 drivers in total, six per group. And here then is Callum Jones driving for Dodge. And it's going to be very interesting. As you can see with the track map on the right-hand side of your screen, it's a very technical, very tight circuit in terms of the corners, and especially this hairpin bend, one of the tightest on the track. So uh, it's going to be interesting to see how these drivers are going to fare, and it really will punish those mistakes given how technical it is. Yeah, a lot of blind corners here as well, Tom, as you say, it's sort of leaning into that technical aspect of this circuit. So it does mean that you have to know where you're going as simple as that sounds and all these sort of track secrets we'll all know all the cambers all the curves you can touch and the curves you can't touch as well Jones out at the moment in the Viper, a little bit of understeer as he throws it down the downhill left-hander into the right, and now we come across the start-finish line to set a lap time. What's it going to be for Jones? It's a 149.4. That's a benchmark for now. Let's see how our other drivers compare. So then, what's the next time going to be on the board? It's going to be interesting to see how it fares. It'll be Oata who sets the time. It's a 149.1, so he goes top of the pile then by three tenths of a second. But Adam Tapai, the Hungarian driver, is ready to better that, and he is the first driver into the 1 minute 48. A 1 minute 48.9 it is for the Jaguar. Stracker a little bit faster behind on circuit in the Nissan GTR. We'll now find the shortest route to the start-finish line. Will he go faster than Depay? He does not. A little bit messy for the last corner there. So 49 dead for him, but in second place. Meanwhile, Team Subaru behind. Not quite quick enough to upset the forward runners, but a 49-2 puts them fourth. And Ayumi Takeda then behind the wheel of that Aston Martin. Just under three tenths of a second shy in the penultimate sector. To the line he goes, moves it over to the left-hand side of the circuit. What's it going to be? It's a 149.2. It's fourth quickest provisionally then in this session. So that then does bring it into our first group out on track here ahead of uh, race one. Now we've got the second group of drivers ready to go and compete their lap times. And I suppose it'll be interesting to see how they're going to fare because they'll at least have a reference point now to be able to beat. Yeah, something you don't really have in that first group. You just go out and go, well... I'll go quick, I guess. <laughs> but th these guys now, of course, now they've got the time to beat. It's Team Jaguar out of the pie at the moment, but one at 48.9. The only team so far in the 48s, bear in mind. So we'll see if these guys behind can, uh, can, can best that. So then, here is uh, Sugimori behind the wheel of the uh, Honda. Shohei Sugimori is uh, competing for the Japanese manufacturer, the Japanese driver out there on track. And that NSX, we know, has been very, very quick in race trim. You only have to look at the likes of the Italian Valerio Gallo, who's been very quick. And somebody else who's been on the charge is this man, Baptiste Beauvoir. Yeah, in the AMG GT3, again, another car we've seen around for a while. Front engine, rear wheel drive. Might not be suited around here with all the cameras and change of elevation, but if anyone can wheel it around quickly, it'll be Baptiste. And we spoke about Tatsuya Sugawara and Porsche. The lineup for that team here for this weekend is absolutely 
emphatic. I'm really keen to see how they're going to be able to perform out there on track and whether that rear engine, rear wheel, or mid engine, rear wheel drive layout is going to uh, be very quick. And you can hear the howl of the rotary here. Yeah, driven by Miroslav Kravchenko there. Great to have another new name in our lineup in the, the rotary Mazda RX Vision, uh, Vision. Great car to have on circuit as well. Uh, definitely a fan favorite and one of mine too. Roberto Sternberg then, a new name for us here in the commentary box. Keen to see how he is going to get on behind the wheel of that Volkswagen Beetle. We know that that car can be very quick. We've seen it in the North American region with the likes of Donovan Parker, who's been really, really quick and competitive. Let's see what he's going to be able to do. But what about him, Tomoyoki Yamanaka? Yeah, not a new name at all, of course. Very quick guy. Yamanaka's been around uh, in the GT stable for a very, very long time. And Team Toyota, one of the faster teams we've had over the course of our time in GT Sport Online in these competitions. So always one to watch expecting big things from that car so drivers now then on their first flying laps in then only flying laps of course within this qualification session on the soft compact of tires it is going to be foot to the floor and maximum attack here in this session for the drivers here's tomoyoki yamanaka just coming through that final sector and you can see on the track map it looks like it's quite tight but it's such a wide circuit this that it does invite side by side racing quite often it does as well and it, as a lot of these corners sort of lead into these blind over elevation corners as well which means that if you are on the outside in the wrong spot you can find yourself quite easily being drawn off into the uh, into the gravel and into your, your good mate Mr Barry R on the exit you've got to watch out for him he's not very friendly unfortunately you get these from <laughs> Christmas crackers I'm sure yeah they don't, they don't sell them to me anymore <laughs> <laughs> uh, here then is uh, Sugimori then two tenths of a second down within the uh, third sector just coming through the final series of uh, corners or will be very shortly indeed Beauvoir is up though on the best time set by Adam Tapai behind the wheel of that Jaguar and I wonder whether that Jaguar has actually got James you in pace in this session because he's proved to be very very quick so far let's see what the rest of the drivers are going to be able to do the likes of Sugawara here tenth of a second down in the middle sector so not ideal at all there for him as it stands it is looking that way I mean a lot of people will have split so far only just quicker Kravchenko there is a little bit uh, up on the fastest time so far but only by 300 which is just a, a minuscule amount of time around here meanwhile Sternberg and the Beetle is actually slower one tenth slower at the moment but still a good chunk of the course to go for a lot of these guys the time to still be made up. Here then is uh, Tomoyoki Yamanaka behind the wheel of the Toyota GR Supra just under half a tenth up in that middle sector here then comes Sugimori ready to come into the final series of corners it drops away so much it's such a hard chicane to get right there because the camber is really against you there's a lot of understeer on the way in and very easy to oversteer on the way out what is the Honda driver going to be able to do as he comes towards the line to break the beam and he goes only sixth quickest and that's not ideal at all there for Honda but the man who's on a charge is Baptiste Beauvoir just two thousandths of a second down in the final sector to the line he takes provisional pole position with a one minute 48.6 96. Yeah, great last sector there from Beauvoir to claw back nearly two tenths of a second more than that actually on the sector before so really strong final sector for Team Mercedes uh, Team Porsche though not almost slower so far 49 free for them here comes Kravchenko very quick at the moment a tenth up on the middle sector will he best Beauvoir in the last sector he does only just so by half a tenth of a second fair play to Kravchenko there what about Sternberg then keeps him towards the right hand side of the circuit but he goes for pole position wow where did that come from the Beetle takes provisional pole we could be on for an absolutely brilliant front row here but Tomoyoki Yamanaka is ready to come and spoil the party for Team Toyota to the line he goes in the Supra and he goes to the top of the pile a 148.352 a great lap from Yamanaka and it's pole position ahead of race one